you can join for free. And kids in every neighborhood belong. It's a funny company, cause it's just for fun, you see. So come on running when you hear our song. Come to order, come to order, says our president. And when the funny company meets, here's just what we present. Things to see. And things to do. Stories. Everybody, listen, I was just over to Mrs. Ritz's and I heard Belly Laguna tell someone on the phone he was going to capture Shrink and Violet if it's the last thing he does today. Oh, mercy. We'll protect you, Violet. Hmm. What are you doing with that wire, Jasper? You'll see. Oh, today is the day I get the guns, clubs, handcuffs, rope. Today I get that shrinking Violet and find out her secret of how to shrink. That does it. Okay, plug it in. Uh, that ought to take care of Belly Laguna. Feeling better now, Violet? Mm-hmm. Hey, gang, here he comes. I'll just go in with the gun, and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get you for this. I'll dig tunnel and get in that way. Boy, I'm glad we paid our electric bill. Electricity is our servant in many ways. Uh-oh, here we go again. Oh, Terry, I'm interested. Where does electricity come from, Jasper? I'm sorry I mentioned it. Well, electricity can come from many places, from many different sources of power, like hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric? Hydro means water. Water power to make electricity. Man long ago learned how to harness energy of thousands of tons of falling water to run mills that would grind grain into flour, or mills that would run machinery to spin thread and weave cloth. But now, falling water from natural water sources, or man-made dams, run through turbines. Turbines? A turbine is like an electric fan in reverse. Water makes the turbine go around and around, and that makes great amounts of electricity. Say, I never thought of that. Hmm, feels like cable. I'll just cut. Hmm, the lights dimmed a little bit. <laughs> of course, hydroelectric power isn't our only source of electricity. Oh, do tell. Shh, Terry, I want to hear Jasper. And the source of energy for our electricity isn't always steady. The rain makes rivers, and the rivers are dammed up, and the water passes through turbines and makes power. And the power passes to electrical substations where big transformers can cut down the great power of this electricity so that it can be used in our houses in smaller doses. But there are other ways to make power, too, besides hydroelectricity like with the steam turbine. They use coal or some other heat source to make steam, like in a steam kettle. And that steam makes these turbines run. And when they run, they drive the generators, which generate lots of electrical power. Coal and natural gas are sometimes the heat sources to make these generators work. It may seem simple and uncomplicated, but the electricity you use comes from places far away. Oh, boy, just a little farther to go. Hmm. Well, no sign of Billy Laguna. Just hit this with a pick. What's that? Sounds like gas is keeping. Maybe from an underground gas main. Got to see what I'm doing. Guess who? Underground electricity, underground gas. The only thing I missed was the water pipes. <laughs> it's old faithful, that's who. <laughs> and now it's time to go. We hope you liked our show. And we'll be back as quick as one, two, three. And when we meet again, we hope you'll be here then. Cause now you're in the funny company.